G'day guys, just Dylan here from Outback Equipment. Today we're going to run over everything that you may need to install a universal plumbing system using a 40 litre modular water tank. Alright folks, so over here we've got your uh, water inlet. So this one here is nice and unique, so it's UV stabilised and it does come with the lock on it as well. So you know uh, on that peace of mind if you're going out, um, on a say for a hike for example, going to the shops for the day, no one's going to get in and contaminate your water or worst case, take your water. Nice and lockable, key safe or UV stabilised. Then we can come over here. So these ones here will give us the level of the water. So you have your five metre water sender probe, which will actually sit into the water tank. And then you will wire that up to the actual battery um, ran monitor and you can install that with anywhere, say for example, in a caravan um, or in the back of a tray on a uh, four wheel drive, for example. Uh, nice and universal, so it does not need to be powered into um, anything. It does come with the battery included as well. The main reason these are really good is basically it'll allow you to monitor your water levels. Now you can also get other options, so if you have more than one tank, you can read up to more than one tank, which is with the say for a two or a three display um, LED for it, which is really useful uh, for you. So if you go out on your two, three day trips, you can monitor your water the entire time. All right, and then we'll come to the main fittings here. So at the front here, you're gonna have all your standard BSB uh, threads, down to your bulb fittings um, to suit a whole bunch of range, different sizes of your hosing as well, and to also suit all of the uh, thread on the water tanks themselves. So nice and simple for those, of course. Also have all your elbow fittings as well. So now this one here, we have the 12 volt pump. So this one here is a 7.6 litre per minute pump. Now this one here is gonna be excellent to do your standard dishes, washing up, just wanting to um, wash off some sand, for example, off of your legs or off your feet, something like that. Absolutely perfect for it. Now the unit does come with all of your pre-water filters as well. It does come with all your fast clip um, adapters as well. Comes with pretty much everything you need. All you need to get, some extra um, piping onto it, and you're good to go. All right, so over here, we've actually chosen this pre-kit um, here for the water hoses. So this one's a 12 mil water hose kit. Is actually going to fit onto the pump fast clip system so nice and fast. Now this kit is extremely popular because it does come with your bore valve on it as well. Extremely popular if you do need to break up, say for example, two water tanks because you've got a chassis bar in the middle there. It allows you to join them nice and easily. Uh, so you can join these up as well. You can get a joiner and do multiple 1.5 meter lengths. The Thirsty Nomad water purifier here is extremely popular, uh, especially with a lot of families and a lot of grain nomad campers. Main reason because it is a five stage water purifier, meaning it will filter out 100% of any um, harmful bacteria, 100% of any uh, E. coli, for example, and it also will filter out 100% of any harmful heavy metals as well. So we highly recommend these. Um, main reason is these are gonna be your ultimate defense against any bacteria that is gonna contaminate your water and make you sick ultimately, especially in your bore water areas and your flood affected areas heavily. All right, and over here we have what we call the 12 volt electric pump breather kit. So this one's more of a universal kit here. Now this is going to come with a, quite a bit of adapters and quite a bit of fittings. It's gonna have your food grade quality water hose again. It does come with your thread tape as well. Comes with a couple more uh, 3 8 to your 12 mil barb fittings as well. You're gonna have three of those. Comes with a heavy duty ball valve in it as well. And also comes with all your hose clamps as well. So this kit is nice and universal, can applicate to any 12 volt pump out there basically. And you can also attach it directly to the top of a water tank. So as you're filling up the tank, it'll allow the air to escape and not basically half the filling time. So these kits here will come with all your fittings that you need. Main reason that you would use these on the top of your water tank as a breather system is because when you're filling up the water tank, if you don't have a breather, it won't actually allow the air to escape out of the tank, causing a lot more pressure um, fighting against the hose, for example, and you'll get a start of getting a lot of pressure and ho uh, water backing, spinning back out, for example, out of your water inlet as well. So having that uh, breather just allows the air to escape and hence fill up the water tank a lot faster. Right here we have another option for water filters. Now this is more of your budget conscious and budget friendly water filter and tap system. Now this is extremely popular, especially within the caravan and camping industry. Main reason is because there's a lot of grey nomads, especially living on the road. Uh, so hypothetically we'll have three water tanks under the caravan. Now one tank will be grey water, one tank will be specifically for 
uh, setting up and using it for, say, to have showers, uh, clean um, the caravan down, do the dishes, and then one will be specifically for drinking water. Now, also at the end of the day, sometimes you can't trust where you get your water from as well. So this is just that little bit extra peace of mind to give you that um, comfort knowing that you're gonna be okay drinking water from your van. All right, last but not least, now if you don't wanna go to this extent and install a 12 volt system or a 12 volt pump water filters and you just want a quick, simple water tank, some hosing to wash some dishes. That's where you can go with our trusty universal uh, hand pump basically. So this will install into your, into the top of your bench top, straight onto the hose, straight into your water tank. Pumping it up and down will create the pumping effect and in return produce the water for you. Okay, so this is everything that you might need in your universal uh, plumbing system. So we're gonna go ahead and pick and choose what we're going to need and we're gonna show you what water tanks we're going to be using today. Okay guys, so here we've got our most popular water tank. So this is our 43 litre modular water tank. Now these are extremely popular, especially with people, um, say for example, with four wheel drives with your dual cabs, uh, small camper trailers and your pop tops, uh, caravans, mainly because they're nice and small and compact and hold a large volume of water. So what they'll allow you to do is um, nice and insert it into a uh, nice tight area, say between chassis rails. Um, I have seen people put them in between um, the ch basically your headboard on your um, utes, for example. I've seen people add them in parallel on caravans um, to get extra water, a whole vast range. I've even seen people with um, off-grid homes use them as well. The main two reasons I personally love these is they're made from high density polyethylene and they're Australian made. Some great features about this one, folks, is these units do come with two, three, four BSB threads, basically, basically your 20 mil thread. They don't come with your fittings, but we do sell your fittings. So as you can see here, we've got two of your elbows, so which is just your standard three, four to three, four thread. We'll thread straight on, nice and easily. I would suggest using some thread tape on them, of course, when you go to do your physical install. Then you'll have your three, four, now we've got two different uh, size directors here. You're gonna have your 25 mil and your uh, 13 mil barb. Or have your three, four thread on them, go straight in as well. Now using these, for example, you can actually stack these uh, water tanks. So you could stack this one here, for example, on top of this one, join them together and run them in parallel and you'll have 86 litres worth of water instead of 43. And you can just keep going on and so on. So we also do sell the mounting brackets for them as well, guys. So if you're wanting to mount them up underneath your chassis, for example, in between some chassis rails, you can purchase the mounts extra. They do get sold as a pair. Now, not only that, guys, if you are going to be basically undertaking this kind of adventure, you don't have to add it all individually because we do have a bundle kit available. Now, that will get you everything that you might need. So you could potentially link the two up like this, folks. Um, and what that will do is allow the water tanks to fill up and also drain in parallel. Okay, so now as you can see here, we've got two of the tanks sitting in two of the brackets. Now, you will always get um, brackets that are not a true fit. Now, the main reason for that is because when they're fully installed into, say, for example, let's say they're in the back of a um, four-wheel drive. What they're actually going to do is it's going to rub and it will wear out a hole in the water tank and you're gonna lose all your water. So generally what the suggestion there is, put some of your foaming tape in, you can put some MDF in, um, you can still put some plywood in. You just don't want the actual um, metal brackets rubbing against the water tank itself. Alrighty folks, so now you're gonna watch us put the water tanks together on our display here. So first thing we're going to do, as previously mentioned, is actually put a bit of protective between the tanks and the mounts themselves. We'll fix off the mounts to the uh, board we've got here. And then what we'll do is actually go through and put some plumber's tape along all of the actual fittings. All of the fittings, all the barb directors, everything like that. Then what we'll actually do is go through and connect all the piping with some hose clamps, as you can see here. As we're going through, you'll actually notice what we've done is put these tanks into parallel. So you'll see a small amount of a little um, hose there that actually joins the two together. So what that's going to do is when the top tank fills up, it's actually going to drain into the bottom tank and it'll actually utilize both tanks at once. And then once we've done all that, we'll connect the tanks up to the actual pump itself. Now you'll notice at the bottom of the tank onto that hose, we've actually got an inline 
water digital meter. So that'll tell us how much water we're actually using at any one time, which will connect to our Topagi digital display here. So if, say for example, we draw out 10 liters, it'll calculate to 10 for us on that display. Alrighty guys, so we've got everything assembled now. So what we actually want to run you through is, so we've gone ahead and actually added a water filter um, pre-stage of the water inlet. So basically what it'll be is this Thirsty Nomad water filter we've gone ahead and chosen. So just imagine you've got your water inlet, you're just about to fill up your uh, water tanks. Obviously, take your cap off, put your hose in. What it's going to do is run through the filter, filter out any nasties before it even hits the water tanks. So having that's gonna obviously eliminate a lot. Now we have actually done a water review um, and a little review on the Thirsty Nomads. Click the link above um, and that'll take you to that one there. Uh, but if you do have any other questions, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll, or give us a call. Head to outbackequipment.com.au, and we'll see you in the next one.